Well, tributes are being paid to Aretha Franklin from around the world, but nowhere more so than, of course, in the United States. Fans are gathering at the historic Apollo Theater in New York's Harlem, where Aretha performed more than a dozen times. And the former U.S. President Barack Obama said in a statement that she helped define the American experience. Well, we can cross over live to Chicago, where we're joined live by the jazz singer Denise Pines. Denise, when you were little, you were lucky enough to meet Aretha on a numerous, a number of times, but not only that, as an adult, you actually sang at one of her birthdays. How on earth do you sing in front of the, so the Queen of Soul? With uh, a lot of nerves in your stomach and, and just a lot of confidence that you know, you take advantage of the opportunity, but she was just like singing to family. I mean, it was like singing to my big sister. She made me feel very comfortable. What an experience. And your father knew her. So you as a little girl met her on numerous occasions. What was it like meeting such a person as a little girl growing up in the United States in the late 60s? At nine years old, I thought she was the most beautiful person I had ever seen. I had never seen a person that looked so beautiful in hair rollers and a scarf. And, and at that time, she was just being casual. She came over for breakfast to have breakfast with my mom and my dad. And we were young and what have you, but she'd come a couple of times. And then to make it full circle to sing for her 71st birthday party in New York at the Ritz Carlton was just an honorable and exciting. And I get goosebumps even talking about it now. I get goosebumps listening to it. It sounds phenomenal. Now, as, as a singer, you know what the industry is like. It's tough. It's cutthroat. What was she like? Aretha, uh, the, the, the personal Aretha, from what I can see, was a very sweet, giving, loving, caring woman. And, it, and that came out in her music. But there was also a side of her that was very business. And you have to be, you know, business as a woman in this business and uh and so she did not play she was very uh, uh by the book she crossed her t's and she dotted her eyes and she was very serious about the business aspect uh of the music industry so not only was she phenomenal as a singer but she was a phenomenal businesswoman. and how important is it to have that kind of role model it's um it, it, i can't even express how important it is, but more so how wonderful it was to experience it firsthand as as as, as a woman today uh, in this business. And so I, you don't get a chance to see all of the we stuff that happens upset. behind the scenes. Uh, you just only admire and adore the singers and, and, the, and the musicians, but there's a lot of things that go on behind the scenes. It would make you appreciate uh, someone like Aretha even more so. Denise Times, who sang for Aretha Franklin. It's been an absolute honor to speak to you. Thank you so much for sharing your memories. Thank you.